Isaiah. In this tutorial, you will learn how to migrate from Hydrated Block version 8 to Hydrated Block version 9. Please support our channel and imagine one like is one cent, one comment is one cent, one subscribe is one cent, one share is one cent, full watch is one cent. If you do all of this, you will help us to earn five cents. And we continue making more complex real app tutorials. Thank you for supporting us. Here in pubspec.yaml file, let's update hydrated block version. Save it. After that, delete or comment this previous code. This line of code remains the same. And new one is hydrated block.storage, which is equal to hydrate storage.build, and the same like previous. And in the next line, we call our main run app function in this format. If you are using this migration for another project, you have to adapt it for our run app function only. And we're all done. Now let's test it. I create another task too. Oops, we have task two already. So let's edit it. Here in bin folder, we have one task. So everything is ready to test it. I close the app and rerun it. As you see, nothing is disappeared. It means the hydrated block is working fine. If it didn't work with you, please check the following files and codes. First, in task block file, check this from JSON and two JSON functions are the same with mine. Second, in task state file, check this from map and two map functions. And finally, Check this task model file from map and to map functions. Don't forget to support us and thank you for watching.